Logic difficulty, normal times 1.3. Normal times 1.3. Um, yeah. Wait, I'm on normal? Aren't I on hard? Ah. Absolutely right. This point goes without saying, but you all voted correctly. Wait a second. What? If I check my options. If this is even in options. Oh, yeah, that's right. Off screen, I noticed that uh, we have a new thingamadooger now. We can actually dress up. And we can go with Kaede's, or his. We'll stick with his for a little while. Uh, oh, does that mean there's one for each character? No, there's definitely more than one for each character. Um, never mind that. Uh, no, yeah, options, real quick. Or it's not going to be in options. I was going to check game difficulty, but I'll, I'll check that next time. Is it on normal? Did I have a normal? Why would I have it on normal? Unless normal's the hardest difficulty. I don't know. Did I have a reason for why I put it on normal? Because I only care about the plot, not the gameplay? No, I think I would've put it on the hardest difficulty. I don't know. Am I gonna go Rantaro Mami? Is the ultimate pianist? Pianist? Kaidematsu! Akamatsu. Lipsies. I'm glad. You're glad? What? Good! Don't screw around! What do you mean, good? Is this how you want it to end? That's not true. Not really, but it could've turned out a lot worse. This is fine, too. How worse? What do you mean? You mean it could have turned out with everyone else getting executed? No, that wouldn't have happened, because he probably would have just confessed at that point, I would think. I don't get it! It's not fine. This is super horrible. The worst ever! <laughs> How did it come to this? It's all the cosplay fox's faults. I blame the cosplay fox. The bullshit cosplay fox that I still don't believe are real. Ellipses. Please. Kaede, what would possess you to do something like this? <sighs> Goten! Oh, I remember Goten's voice. That's the one voice I think I really remember. Goten, no can accept this. Not unless you explain. Please explain to Goten. Real? I'd be, I wouldn't be satisfied until I hear it straight from you. Hey! Kaidi, please. Ellipses? <sighs> please allow me for a few more moments of your time, then. What if Monica would just cut you off like a bitch? Mm, apparently not. It's just like what you said. I was after the mastermind this entire time. Wanted to kill the mastermind, I thought doing that would end the killing game. But... Why would you try to kill them? Maybe they could have been captured. Eh, maybe not, though. I can see your reasoning. Um... If it hadn't been for that time limit, I probably would have done that. Yeah, but the time limit. Mmm. Sad. Time limit meant that capturing the mastermind was less likely to work, you know? Because the mastermind could have just played dumb to run out the clock and kill us all. Yup. Yeah. I was worried about that happening. Therefore, you sought to kill the mastermind instead. That's right. I'd made up my mind just before we set up the cameras in the library. I thought it was my last chance to save everyone. I couldn't let the chance pass me by. I had to save everyone no matter what. And worst case scenario, you don't kill the mastermind and at least not everyone dies. Arguably. Arguably though, Rantaro had some way to stop everything and you fucked up. You fucked it all up, but we don't know. Even if you had to kill someone? Blipsies. Yeah. That's right. I thought that killing the Mastermind was our best shot at escaping this place together. I... I really believed it, too. Kaede. But... Oh, Kaede, it never dawned on you? As soon as that thought entered your head, Monokuma had you right where he wanted. Because what mattered most to Monokuma is that the killing game started. Yeah. He might have... I, I, we don't know for sure now, but he might have, won, if the time limit ran out, he might have been like, Just kidding! I'll figure something else out if you guys still don't want to kill each other. You really don't get it. Regardless of your reasons, the moment you felt the urge to kill, you had already lost. Yep, more or less. You agreed to be part of the kill- <laughs> Going Monokuma with his voice? Mm. It's just I'm trying to be high, but I'm trying to be a different high. Ugh. You agreed to be part of the game when you allowed murder to fill your heart. Wait. To put it like that, <laughs> he's not wrong. She's the reason the killing game finally started. Ah, uh, no. If Kai hadn't done anything, we'd all be dead by now. Maybe, or maybe not. Right. Kai didn't save everyone. Gota says we no blame her. I know that. You don't need to remind me. Oh, what is that? Are those tears truthful or not? <laughs> That's what I love about Kokichi. You can never tell. That's why I'm so pissed off. Pissed off at myself being so... so useless. Um... Kokichi, that's enough. 
I can see through your act. Isn't that? Man. Whoops. Yeah, obvious, huh? That's right. Kokichi's right. I was being played. I didn't even kill the mastermind. I killed one of our dear friends instead. What I did was so terrible, so unforgivable. And yet, I don't feel... I really don't feel you should not... I don't feel you shouldn't have taken advantage of the per first blood perk, so I do feel you should have taken it. Because it's just a waste of human life. <laughs> Took an innocent life from nothing but a horrible murderer. No, you have many, many excuses. But, uh Should all hate, blame, and dis be disgusted by me. The only one who seems to hate, blame, and be disgusted by you is you. Everyone else realizes what you did and... You're the only one who's such a harsh critic on yourself that felt you had to die for this. I mean, arguably, if you did take advantage of it, others might have been like, Hey, wait a second. You're a fuck fuckery fuck fucker. But because you didn't, everybody knows that you're definitely not a fuck fuckery fuck fucker. So that also adds to the tragedy, I guess. Wait! Kaede, please calm down! Ellipses. Uh... After we found Rantara's body, when I realized he wasn't the mastermind... I thought about ending this by confessing to you what I had done and taking advantage of the first blood perk, but instead, what did you do? Why did you not? I couldn't because of Monokuma's first blood perk. Because you wanted to die? That's the worst thing you could possibly say. I I'd rather you have said, I, I think the reverse is, for a lot of killers in the Dang and Ropa game cases, it's been the reverse. Like, I would have wanted to confess, but I couldn't because I didn't want to get executed. In this case, though, you wouldn't have had to die. Your... I see if you confess there and then, you would have been able to leave. But you decided you couldn't leave this place by yourself, so you kept quiet. <sighs> because of the first blood perk, you were forced to hide the truth from us. So that you could die and not live? I'm sorry, no. I don't agree with that. That just sounds wrong from every perspective. I guess she just couldn't live with it, but... In a way, you could argue she's stronger for being able to do what it takes to try to attempt to kill someone to stop this, you know, stronger than Makoto and Hajime, but she's weaker for not being able to live with what she's done and continue forward. So, you know. Yeah. That's right. I see. First blood work worked against the black and rather than for them. It didn't have to. It really didn't have to. Uh. At the same time, I thought, if I did this for everyone, then instead of making things easier by confessing, I thought I should lie to you all. It would motivate you to keep moving forward. Then... Is that the reason for the trial? To reveal the mastermind? I guess that's also a possibility. Because... I felt like if I didn't do this, then Rantaro's death would have been meaning meaningless. I have the opposite idea. I feel like you giving in and getting yourself executed at the end of this trial, that's what makes his death less than meaningless. His death was meaningless if you had taken advantage of the first blood perk, but by not, in my opinion, you're making his death even worse, if that makes sense. That's that's how I look at it. Well then. We were searching for both the culprit and the mastermind during the class trial. Well, you failed to find the mastermind, so again, meaningless. Oh yeah! Kinda did mention that. And you know, if this was, if genre savviness didn't exist, if the format didn't exist, I might actually think, well, you know what? Maybe it worked. Maybe because, maybe because of this, we've all grown super strong together now, and we're all gonna work together, and no one else is gonna die. But I mean, come on, it's fucking Dang Ropa. More characters are gonna die. That's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. That even adds even more, though, to her tragedy. The fact that we as players pretty much know more, more cases are going to happen. And she thought she could end it all, and little did she know it was only going to get worse and worse after her death, probably. I'll even use this class trial to do that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's some more tricking wording. So I want to end all the terrible things. Defeat the mastermind, end this dumb killing game. You somehow thought through the course of the trial you could expose the mastermind? That's pretty damn wishful thinking. But I guess it makes sense now why you keep kept bringing that up. Because you would always say, I'm going to expose the mastermind. That's true. I kept I kept getting annoyed by that. Like, it doesn't have to be the same person. The code doesn't have to be the mastermind. But in the end, 
You couldn't really say that you wanted to expose the killer because you know damn well who the killer was. I mean, you could have said that and just been lying, but... Nah. Never wanted to keep my crime a secret. I was going to tell you all eventually. Yeah. Before I did, I wanted to expose the mastermind first. But she failed. Then the killing game would have ended and everyone but me would be saved. Not everyone but you. And Taro still wouldn't have been saved. Just so you know, FYI. Uh... I thought that was the best way I could have told him for killing Rotaro. I guess there's something to that, but that seems... To me, that seems like an excuse. Like, that's an extremely slim possibility that you're actually going to find the Mastermind in the trial. I think it's a much smarter thing to take advantage of the First Blood perk and then try to see where that gets you and go from there. I think that would... I, I don't know. I always choose life over death, and especially in a situation like that where it's an easy choice. In my opinion, eh. Ellipses. Sorry. My fault. I was wrong. There was no mastermind? Why do you say that? I mean, I still think there's a decent chance that one of them is the mastermind. What? You were wrong? Didn't you say the mastermind was one of us? Or are you lying now? Even though you still think the mastermind's one of us, you're gonna say it's not because you want us to stop suspecting each other. Well, you take it all on yourself and suspect everyone yourself? That would be... Somewhat hypocritical, to be honest, because that would be similar to how Kaede was trying to take everything on by herself, by, you know, killing Rantaro and such, and not telling you, but, I don't know. Maybe that's not where you're going with this. Uh, okay. That's what I thought at first, but in the end, we have nothing. No one made any moves at the time when the trial was useless. Let's see. Even when Chuichi was about to be voted as the Blackened. Still, they did not appear. Uh, yeah. I even got a game over a couple times as Shuichi. Maybe. One time as Shuichi, at least. No, two times! That's right, I got four game overs. <laughs> that seriously was a close one. Guy, they had just kept their mouth shut, we'd all be dead right now. There's gotta be something that we can discuss. We just gotta think. Yeah, it's true. Shuichi would have just let everyone die. So at least you did something really impactful as the main character Kaede. Kind of then again, the trial only happened because you didn't take advantage of the first plus perk. So, yeah, it's like you you fucked us all over, but you saved us. It's like you saved us all, but you saved us for something you caused. Right, Chuichi? And that's when he was like, huh? And I thought that was what? weird. Like, he's saying, huh, because he thinks she's the killer. But at the time, I was like, oh, he thinks she's the killer. But, uh, she's only in this mess because she decided to say something at that moment. Yeah. That's... I wanted to protect Kaede, but I also wanted to unmask the mastermind. Even when the killer was about to be condemned, they remained hidden. Sorry. That has to mean that the mastermind is not among us at all. Uh, that's only... It's true, though, that the mastermind so far has, so, has kind of, like, attained to his rules. He seemed to follow his own rules. I think we have noticed that to an extent. I don't remember exactly why we've noticed that. I don't remember what's tipped us off to that, but I do remember them pointing out that the master seems to be following his own rules. And if that's the case, then he would die too. But he could always just at the last minute be like, Oh, I'll follow most of my rules, but not that one. I'm not dying for you bitches. So, you know, just saying. What? Also, it's been a month and I've forgotten. Holy shit, I'm already level 20. That's right, you level up super quick in this game. I forgot. Anyways, kind of had the wrong idea the whole time. I see. All her actions were taken under Shuichi's flawed logic. Flawed. Uh, okay. That's why this is my fault. All this happened because my detective work was wrong. No, I, I, I don't think it was quite wrong. I still think of a mastermind. I think there's a pretty good likelihood it is among us, because, I mean, come on. In Danganronpa 1, it wasn't among them, because um, Junko pulled a fast one, kind of, sort of. And in Danganronpa 2, it wasn't among them, because stupid AI virtual bullshit, and it was Junko again. I feel like third time's the charm. The mastermind, I think, should probably be among us. I hope so. It'd be kind of a shame if, for the third time in a row, the mastermind is not among us. Honestly. But, yeah. If I'd been so stupid, I never said anything about Mastermind to Kaede. Damn it! Rotaro would have died, and Kaede wouldn't be a murderer. If you hadn't said anything about the Mastermind to Kaede, no, that would be you taking it all on yourself. Which is what got Kaede in the problem, because she took it all on herself to try to kill Rotaro. So no, that's not what you should be taking away from this. Uh, uh, Kaede thinks it's all her fault, and you think it's all your fault. You almost make the perfect couple. Too bad one of you is about to die. That's wrong! It's not! Huh? Kaede? Because... I killed him, not you. Right? Didn't I? 
Oh, don't make that happy pose when you're crying. That's just too weird. Lipsies. But... Kaede, why did you set such a convoluted trap? Oh, here's the part where she says, I made it convoluted on purpose because I kind of sort of hoped it wouldn't work, right? If your intent was to kill the mastermind, there was no reason for you to uh, cover your traps. Tracks. Oh, that's a... Oh. Convoluted plan. I thought he was saying it the other way around. Like, it was too convoluted for its own good, but... Eh. Jeez. And obvious, because she didn't want Shuichi to know. Oh, there's that too. Huh? Yeah, you. She likes you too much. Yeah. I didn't want everyone else to know either. I said I wanted to escape this place with everyone. And so... You didn't want everyone else to know you were a murderer because that would hurt your, you know, stance as Super Hope Leader? Because... You guys wouldn't want to be friends with a girl who killed someone, would you? Uh, of course you would think that, you selfless fuck! <laughs> Go to... friends? <laughs> Kaede okay, put a lot of thought into this. Hmm. She put so much thought into this, it drove her to commit murder like a lunatic. <laughs> You're such a dumbass. Yeah. I know, right? I am such a dumbass. And my boobs aren't nearly as big as yours. However... I only survived the tunnel because of that idiocy. Right! Yes, we still alive thanks to you. Go to say so. Ellipses. <laughs> Kai, I don't know how, but I wanted to get out of here with you. I wanted to be friends. Possibly more than friends if, you know, you catch my penis. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Damn. You're saying everything you did was because you were thinking of us? And you hid that you killed him just to stay and help us? How did things... Hi, hello! Alright, alright, that's it. Enough sob story. Execution time! Huh? Wh what What do you mean? What do you mean that's it? Ah! Are you getting bored, Father? That's right! You know how Pops gets. Can't stand this kind of tearjerker schluck. <sighs> I can't stop crying! <laughs> I see nothing gets past my adorable little cops. <laughs> Not even let appetizers get past me, especially if someone else brought them. Now then. But we can't let this boring display grind the action to a halt, so... Time to make things interesting! Huh? It's time for the execution! I was about to say class trial! A little late for that, though. Thrills, kills, kills! That's what I was looking for. It's punishment time! Woohoo! Oh, I even hurt my own ears when I do that sometimes. Mm. Punishment? You mean Kaede's execution? Don't screw around! No freaking way. There's no way we'll let you do that. Hey! Oh, well, if you ever need killer robots, this is the time. Ah! Yep, yep. Punishment time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. And if you even try to interfere... We'll just crush you with these here exosols. Isn't it exosols? Exosols just sounds so dumb. It's cruel, but it's probably better if one person dies instead of everyone. It would be better if no one died instead of everyone if she had fucking taken advantage of the first blood prick. I don't know. I still ultimately think she was kind of stupid for not doing that, but... It's different mindsets, I get it. She just thinks very differently from I, than I do, but... Uh... Maybe that's good then that I stopped uh, playing as her then. We totally don't see a like. It would be bad if she was my player character. My point of view. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line. And so will I. We don't need everyone being stupid, thank you very much. She decided to let herself die. You don't need to do that too. Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. Okay, and then Kaede's gonna stop him all, right? Gentlemen never back down, and neither will Gonta. Or Kaida is just gonna kill herself or something and stop them from even trying. This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines! That's probably the most positive uh, outlook of the three. Yeah, I'll help. I can. Uh, thank you, Kaida. Everyone, stop! Yeah, that would kind of fuck everything she's been doing up. Stop it. Please just stop. Honestly, you're a hypocrite. You, sh you, you try so much to save everyone else with disregarding your own life. And then when someone tries to do the same for you, you're like, no, 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 you can't do that. 
it's hypocritical and kind of irritates me. Um, I get it, you're a good person, but fuck you just a little bit. Kaede? I... Enough, you guys. I've already prepared myself. But they haven't prepared themselves, you hypocrite. Ellipses. You're giving up? Why? She gave up the moment she didn't take advantage of the first blood perk. You said you'd never give up. That we get out of here together. That's what you said, Kaede. Damn it! Why are you giving in now? Do you mean what you said? I know we can do something. Don't give up until the end. No. I'm not giving up because I have you. I mean, you'll have him for like five seconds. Huh? Oh, come on, kiss him before you die. The first kiss in the series, I think. I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know? Even after I'm gone, my wish will still be- Oh, your fucking wish. Fuck that shit. Fuck your wish. I want your kiss. Give me this X for five seconds, please. So I'm counting on you all. I'm entrusting my wish to every one of you. I believe in you! Oh, your wish to every one of them. Okay, that's a lot of kisses all at once. But, I mean, I think we're all game. What? Even the robot. Go for it. I believe that you'll all make it through this somehow. You have to live! I mean, probably about two-thirds of you will die before the end of this, but... But the rest of you, please, you have to live! Don't go dying on me now. And this ridiculous killing game, survive and get the hell out of this place. Oh, it's so sad knowing that there's definitely going to be at least a few more trials. It's a promise. Then be friends after you escape, okay? I think you'll all be the best of friends. Yeah. Affirmative, Kaede. I shall take that request. I will do my utmost to fulfill your final request. Aww. How cute. <laughs> I won't give up. I'll get out of here. No matter what. <laughs> yeah, my voice for Tenko is weird. <laughs> Going to work hard and keep friends safe till very end. Bye. Well, Kaede, you definitely weren't boring. I still ship it. That's my OTP. Kaede Kokichi all the way. Well now. Let's get started! If there are more free times that we can have between Kaede and Kokichi, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of convinced that it's just one for each character. I could be wrong, but that seems likely. But if we can have more, I definitely want to see Kokichi's. I, I mean, I would probably would check all of them, like, as a bonus video or something, but um, I would definitely want to see Kokichi's, because they are my OTP. <laughs> uh, now then, I prepared a very special punishment. For the ultimate pa pianist, Kaede Akamatsu! I really wish they'd say the rest of those lines, Monokuma would, during these executions. I mean, come on, there's only gonna be like four or five of them, right? How hard is that? Damn it! Wait, wait a second, please, please don't! Hey! Shuichi, you better not lose. You can't lose! You can't lose this killing game, I know you can beat it! Unlike me, who pussied out like a mofo. It's punishment time! I'm still gonna get people so angry at me, aren't I? For, for being mad at her, for giving in? To, like, you know, and not taking the first blood perk. Like, I got people raging at me for getting mad at Gundam, and he didn't even have a first blood perk option. Uh. I believe in you! Believe in yourself! It's a promise. Kai has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. That's painful. Oh, that's ignoring the spikes. Yeah, 
He didn't even use the spikes. Ah. Oh. What? Wait, what? That's an execution. Uh, Monadam finally getting back at the guy for being such a jerk to him. Are we going to get an explanation of that? I'm more curious about that. Uh, so, is she even dead? Was she saved? It kind of looks like she might have been saved just now. I mean, no, I think she was fucking dead before the spikes even got to her, but it looks like, uh, Monadam might have saved her, kind of, sort of. Maybe, possibly, or at least tried to. Lipsies? No one was over, I felt my legs give out. Are we not going to comment on what the, the, the thing that happened with Mono Kid? I just saw it didn't feel real. And if all reality had vanished and the only thing left was a fictional world. Ha 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 ha. Uh, first time we play as someone with a real talent, they go and die. Um, and now we're just playing as someone with detective talent, which is a copy talent that we've seen in a previous game, which makes it less interesting. Real or not, Kaede was gone. Kaede Akamatsu no longer exists in our world. And no, neither did Mono Kid, question mark? Yeah? What the? Why is Mono Kid... Ah, uh, Mono Dam. Mono Dam is being a dam. Damn, boy, what you doing? Yeah! Mono Dam, what have you done? <laughs> what she said. Yeah! Girl, she puked again. Oh well. This tension ain't so bad, you know. Finally, feels like a proper killing game. If anything, we could stand to use a little more tension in our lives, right, Dad? <laughs> no, my sweet darling Mono Kid claimed his collateral damage. Are you not actually going to question your other sweet darling Mono Dam? This is a nightmare. This is unacceptable. My precious cub is... On second thought, I guess it's okay. After all, I still got four more cubs. And having one less of them just means less mouths to feed. I'm glad you kids came in bulk. <laughs> it's okay? I'm shocked. Their existence means that little, huh? Well. What's done is done. What's dead is dead. No point crying over crushed cubs. But are you at least going to comment on what Mondo Dam just did? <laughs> Let's see why I end up like these sad sacks. But how? What? What in the world is this? Uh, you know, still want to note the fact that uh, Kibo seems to share a voice actor with Mono Dam. So, uh, I don't know what's going on with that. But, I mean, you know, just saying. Really? And when he speaks, he's got Kibo, the letter K is green. That's also a thing. When you speak, the letter I is pink. Does that mean you're, mon you're Monomi? No, not Monomi. What's her name? I don't... Mo mono girl? Mono... What is your name, pink one? I should just call her Monomi and not care. Mono Fanny. That's too long. That's like... It's like an extra syllable. Just call her Monomi. It's easier. Amen. Atua, please grant Kaede's soul eternal repose. Can't believe this happened to Kaede. I liked her so much. She was so fun. Arguably, him call saying that she wasn't boring could have is like the best compliment he could have given to someone. I think, because he's all about things being interesting, right? <laughs> Kaede, we were an OTP. Yahoo! All this adrenaline creates such an exquisite feeling of despair. It's moments like this that make all the killings worth it. Why are you doing such a terrible thing? How dare you! You're the worst of the worst. Does human life have no value at all? Oh man, I'm remembering back to the demo now and how much they were all like, You're the ma new main character now! <laughs> you're the new main character, Kaede! Did I mention you're the main character? Ugh. Sacrificial lion, go! What's that called? There's a TV trope, right? There's a trope that... I don't remember what it's called, but it's like... When you think you start as a certain character, but that only lasts for a little bit and you switch to someone else. That's some kind of TV show, but I don't remember the name of it. I'm assuming this game was listed under those entries, though. Uh... Hey, um... I mean, for what it's worth, cub life doesn't have much ma uh, value to me either. I mean, I know human life is precious. I'm not a monster, you know. <laughs> human life wasn't precious. I think it wouldn't be nearly as much fun. There's no greater joy than witnessing such a, despair, a display of despair entertainment, or a despair of display entertainment. <laughs> you, you've surpassed psychotic by a wide margin. What now? I don't think I've ever felt quite this irritated. 
you. Won't forgive you for this. Got that? I won't ever forgive you. Oh. Spoken like a marked man. Excuse me. What is your objective, Monokuma? And what's your next motive gonna be? You really can't go up after you do everybody kill each other. I mean, or everybody dies, right? I mean, in Danganronpa 2, that was the fourth motive, so... I mean, as much as I don't like that as a motive, it kind of sort of made sense to escalate to that point. In this game, though, that was the first one. Where do you go from here? What are you trying to pull? Do you hate us? If so, have we done something to make you hate us? To be fair, though, um, do it, starting it like this, having everyone potentially die, is a really good way to make sure it actually starts because it's true that once one happens it makes more likely to happen like makes people more willing to actually go for it to be fair though Kaede you know was kind of hopeful and shit about it so maybe not but yeah huh? hey you <laughs> who can say hey um that's your job to figure out does that have anything to do with the fact that we were in juvie or something if you really want to know what's going on you're gonna have to work for it the corpse formerly known as Rentaro may have had a hunch. Oh, f cut fucking of course he did. Of course he did, now we don't get to know what it is. Huh? Don't you say what? What is it? What do you mean? What was Rentaro's hunch? <laughs> what indeed? That is. He did say we'd end this game, and he also knew about the hidden door. Yep, and Kaida went and fucked it all up. Hey, what you say? Could that all at all be related to this hunch you claim he had? I wonder. Why you? How's this hunter going on about spill it? Uh, I think Kaede kind of ruined the chance to spill it when he when she spilled Rentaro's brains. Oh well. <laughs> I wonder. I can't. I'm not mad at really Kaede for killing Rentaro, but I am mad at the circumstance that led to his death. When I, I, assuming he wasn't a terrible person, because he seemed really mischievous and shit, it's like oh. If you have no intention of telling us, then keep your mouth shut. Cause you're focusing on Katie instead of her deadweight victim. Well, it's not his fault he was useless. He died before his talent could be revealed. If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Too bad. Oh well, he, he's dead, and that's that. That's the indifference of death for you. You're still gonna tell us his talent eventually, right? I don't know. I kind of hope they do. I mean, they don't need to for the game to be good. But I feel like they need to, for the game to be great, if that makes any sense to you. I don't know. Just so that they're not leaving any small things aside. I don't know. And it would bug me if they went again like, oh, he was just some imposter. His talent was just ultimate. Who gives a fuck? However, he wasn't really the mastermind, was he? You're really bugging me. Are you still pestering me with those annoying questions? Gosh, Katie was bad enough. Don't you be like that, too. And another. You guys focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind. Keep this up, y'all gonna end up like Kaya today. Eh. What? Ellipses. Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. Never know who's gonna become the next killer. <laughs> Looking forward to it. I can't wait. I wonder what kind of killer game we'll get to see next. Oh boy. Hmm. Damn it. You may have gotten us this time. We'll get you next time. You'll see. Although I'm kind of sort of looking forward to it, too. it sounds fun. As long as, you know, my, I mean, my wife who's already dead, so no one else I care about can die, right? <laughs> Why? Why are you all psyched up? That's nice. Something to know, Himiko has been quiet for a long time, because after speaking up just now, I was kind of sort of sort of like, What? Himiko? Where did you come? Like, I forgot that she was here. Um, I actually temporarily forgot that she existed for just a slight amount of time. I have a feeling you're going to live for a while. Wait, what? It's nice to see that at least one of you has some chapaz around here. Mm. You say that, but that's kind of a death flag for him. But then again, you're the one saying it, not him, so... Thanks. I'll do my best! <laughs> wow. Then again, uh, remembering Danganronpa 2 where Hyoko was all like, um, Kazuichi's probably gonna die first or something, and didn't die at all, so this might be the opposite. I don't know. I hope not. Don't screw around! Shut the hell up, we're not gonna have another killing game! I, Kaito Momota, am not going to let you harm, have your way anymore. Honestly, Kaito is the kind of person I thought who would go to an extreme, like, attempting to, let's say, kill Rantaro to save everyone. He seemed like that kind of person. Uh, but I guess Kaede is a, of a similar ilk. But in that case, is Kaito going to fall for the same delusions, or or not? Seems less likely now that Kaede has done a similar stunt, but, eh. 
I'm gonna punch that Grin right off your face, for sure. Is that so? That seems unlikely. Too bad. Pretty sure you won't live long enough to do that. <laughs> oh, okay, so he said one person probably will live a while, and the other person won't live that long. So is it gonna be reversed, or is it gonna be... Or is the prediction gonna come true? Damn. Ah. Well... You guys have a lot to think about. <laughs> Especially now that you're playing as someone else. It's crazy. Work hard to do your best to graduate, because the fun's only just begun. Oh boy. Hey. Mono Dam, explain yourself. Finally we're coming to this. Mm. I get that Mono Kid was obnoxious and rude, but that was way over the line. Mono Dam. Because. I did it for us. What? And he just leaves. Ah. Wait, Mono Dam! I'm actually really curious what's going on with this. Is it multiple people controlling these different mono dudes? Because, um, I mean, part of me is thinking, you know, that freaking, what is it, uh, whoever's controlling Monokuma is just controlling all of them and playing with himself, but this makes it seem more likely that there's someone controlling all of them, but I'm guessing if that is the case, they're not all members of our freaking group. Or, the ultimate plot twist will be we get to the end of the game, and there's like five other people left alive, or six or something, and all six of them are the five mono kids plus Monokuma. That would be the best twist, question mark? That would be a really fucked up twist, but, you know, eh. Or maybe Shuichi's even in on it, and he is the mastermind, and he just doesn't remember because of deja vu and amnesia and shit. I haven't forgotten that that weird beginning twist, but anyways. Where are you going? It's getting interesting! Probably killed him as payback for all the bullying. What an interesting turn of events. Seems like more than that. And with that, Monokuma and the Cubs left, and we remain in the courtroom. Lipsies. I don't think I can take all this. I can't stand this anymore. I feel like I'm going to create, going to go crazy. No. Sigumi, you mustn't give up hope. Mm. Is there even hope to be had there, here? The room feels utterly drained of it. <sighs> go to sad cry a day. <laughs> what kind of degenerate male cries in public? It's so rude. Females can do it, I mean, but not males. Um... I'm sexist. But, Tenko, you are crying too. Hey. Now's not the time to point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Let her be a hypocrite, at least for right now. Prayer time. Times like these, we should pray for Kaede's soul so we can, she can rest in peace. And not pieces. W what? It seemed like she avoided the skewer. At least, I think she did? I don't know. And if that's the case, then, uh, uh maybe Mom Dam somehow had some ultimate plan to save Kaede and that will somehow save the world in the future and Kaede didn't die? I don't know. Crazy plot twist theories. Anyways. <clears throat> How is anyone supposed to rest in peace after getting killed like that? Well, I mean, we didn't get killed, but... I didn't know. Oh, she got killed. Sorry. You know, I go over my trains of thoughts and I don't pay attention. What are we going to do from now on? <sighs> I'd like to know, too. I'm so over this already. Gosh. I, mean, I want to new, new things. Fuck these class trials. That's enough! Shut up, shut up. Y'all need to shut up! Oh, is Kaito the new leader? Kaito's voice boomed in the air and the room went silent. Damn. Every single one of you and your meek little complaints. Shut up! Piss me the hell off! Oh gosh. You'd think her death could get us closer, like Sakura's death, but no, with Sakura, she was not. Damn it. What's pissing me off the most is myself. Dumbass. Oh, it's you, Shuichi! Oh, fuck. Huh? What? Oh, what? Clench your teeth! Oh jeez, this is like, uh, feels a lot like Mondo beating up Makoto. Kaito! You are supposed to say that before you hit him! Uh, yeah, you're a little late on that. <laughs> Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you! Yeah, so stop sobbing, right? Uh, okay, that's a good approach. I was gonna be mad at Kaito for being like, Why, but Kaede said that, you know, she didn't think of it as his fault, but I thought that's why he was hitting him, or he was hitting him but no. That she passed her wish on to you. Yeah. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? Words are cheap. It's his actions that will speak, I feel. I mean, words aren't always cheap, but in this case, I think they're cheap. Ellipses. Damn it. What's the matter? Say something already. Dumbass. I just hit you. Aren't you pissed off? What's your problem? <sighs> Enough, Kaito. Mm -hmm. Sucker punching is pretty low, even for a low-life degenerate male like you. Listen up! 
Better knock it off, or I'm gonna explode my Neo Aikido all your face. <laughs> face explode. Fine. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yep, we're breaking up. <laughs> oh, it's the breakup of the century. You okay, Shuichi? Uh, okay. I'm fine. For now. Please stop. This sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Mm. Don't deduct your waste of time, but don't agree fighting no good. Then? Can we leave now? Staying here will only make us more depressed. <laughs> well put. I agree wholeheartedly. Lipsies. Sorry. Y'all should go ahead without me. What are you gonna do? Um... Is there a reason you wish to stay in a place like this? Uh, um... I wanna be alone for a while. Just for a little bit. But... We can't just leave you here by yourself. By your... S no. Sukumi, perhaps it would be best if we allowed him some privacy for now. <sighs> I suppose. Um... Don't beat yourself up, Kay. Yeah. Just hit the reset button on your feelings and you'll feel happy and cheerful in no time. I do it all the time. <laughs> Listen. Being a tight and sensitive is important for survival. Helps one avoid suicidal thoughts. Yeah, like how freaking Kaide and her suicidal thoughts did not take the first blood perk. Although, she wasn't even thinking about the suicide, though. That's the thing. She was thinking about finding the mastermind, which, yeah, super selfless. Hey! Gonta will go back, too. Let Gonta know if you need his help, okay? Oh, and he's the only one left. One by one, everyone climbed aboard the elevator. Except... Yeah, I know, bro. Tough feels. I mean... I don't know how well you knew Kaede. Why didn't you try going to her ultimate lab? Or why don't you? Huh? You still don't have your own ultimate lab. This is probably gonna be like the last one or something, right? What do you mean? That's right. Nomikuma well, set the room up, so there's probably not a lot there to remember by. But, I mean, there's gotta be a purpose to the room, right? Should at least be a bunch of th little things she liked. Oh, that's right. Kaida really wanted to play a big piano when she got out of there. And now she won't be able to. Maybe actually there'd be, there's a, there'd be a funny feature where whenever someone dies, uh, something special happens in their lab, potentially. Potentially. Uh, okay. Things Kaida liked? Listen up. Understand there's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's gonna be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's gonna help you, it'll be her. And your memories. Thanks, man! I thought you were just gonna be some, like, punk, uh, soda can slash ass hero XP, but no. You seem like cool, bro. Those words, he stepped onto the elevator. Lipsies. Before I realized it, I got to my feet. Moving forward, just started walking and I was heading toward the penis lab. Let's go. One last chance to make these dirty jokes. Oh, is like the chapter not over? It's still chapter one, but I'm actually going to end it here. See you guys next time on Let's Play Danganronpa 3 Blah 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 Killing Harmony. Bye, guys.